today I'm going to be taking my brand new Acheron onto the newest Pure Fiction Stage 4 and hopefully she does amazing. So truthfully I've already completed this stage and it was actually pretty good despite the fact that Acheron is a brand new 5 star character that I don't have built completely which you will see her build at the end of the video but she still carries really well on this stage. But for the first half I'm going to be taking her to hyper carry with Ting Yun. Sparkle and Ron May. Some really good synergy all together to make my Herda absolutely devastate the first half. For the second side, of course, I'm going to be taking Acheron, but I'm also going to be taking two Nihility characters alongside her so I can get that max boost from her kit. I'm also going to be bringing Gallagher since there are some fire weakness enemies there, especially against like Kakolia. So I think he'll just be better to have there than someone like Fushuan. All right, let's start this battle off with Herda. She's going to have a lot of buffs going into this and especially Ting Yun to start her off, which is going to be really good. Now, of course, Herda does a really good job of handling in this stage because of all of the ice weakness but the problem is on the second wave all those panacana enemies are gonna be trouble for her no way around it especially because she doesn't have any weakness that she can target i could definitely see someone like argenti coming in handy on this stage especially for wave two because every enemy pretty much has physical weakness here regardless okay now i do need to get lucky with the rng here like i don't know that might be bad i got targeted twice there don't get me wrong i will take all the energy i can get but i have no sustains here so i don't need her to get too weak before we enter the final stage there we go that did give me my ult though i also need her to crit a little bit more though <laughs> like i feel like i have to rely on not only her critting but also not getting killed in time before we get to the end at least they're target okay they're targeting sparkle up really a lot which i think i'm okay with all right let's drop the e that's gonna be good we can come in with ultimate right after and thankfully, now that I do have E6 on her, to, like I said, I'm getting that really big buff of damage as compared to before, which is definitely not something I should sleep on. Nice. Warp Trotter is almost dead, too. Really close to being done with this wave. I just need to get my ult one more time. Sparkle's really close to her ult, too. I just don't need Ting Yun dying on me. She's been targeted a little too much. And then let's use my E on her. To, so not only are we going to hopefully kill off a lot of these enemies here, we have her ult. Let's pop ult. The shatter does come in handy there. Like, I mean, you can see. I'm a little worried going into this, though, because Sing Yun is really close to dying. So instead, I'm going to boost up Herda as much as possible. I'd rather focus on getting her ult back more than Ron Maze here. At this point, we're just going to be trying to kill off as many of the other enemies as I can, since obviously we're not breaking through Japard. <laughs> Again, I think Argenti would be amazing for this stage, even Clara. Oh, there goes Sing Yun. We got the E once more. So now we're not going to be getting our ult back as quickly without Sing Yun there. So we need to watch that. All right. I need her to, to attack. All right. This is going to be our last attack. Unfortunately, we're not going to get our ultimate, but we can do a lot of damage. There. Oh, we did get our ult. Nice. I'm actually surprised that we did there. Let's see how much more we can take with us. Uh, not enough. Not enough. We'll be going into it with 28k. I think I have done better with that before. All right, moving on to the second half. We're going to be starting with Acheron. You already know she's going to be carrying hard on this side. Now, we need to do better than we did on the first half if we want those 60k points. Our Himiko here, I think it's actually going to be really good. I originally wanted to take Gallagher because his weakness break damage is really amazing. I'm not going to be getting heals otherwise without him, but I'll be able to get more stacks with Himiko coming in like right here. That's going to build up my Acheron's stacks a lot more actually i just i have to be really careful though with this setup though because yeah like right there i'm gonna get sealed and that's not good like that's really not good i have no way of getting out of that so it is a big trade-off not bringing gallagher for this but i think it'll pay off regardless so let's come on in with acheron's ult once again all right and with this we'll go ahead and move on to the second wave not too bad and we can come on in with himiko unfortunately kafka got sealed though because she would be really important right here we'll use black swan we're really close to getting another ult with akron like i really want to use arco with akron but because i have her at e0 it's a no-brainer like i need those two nihilities i really do all right now we finally have kafka ult. let's go ahead and drop that in follow it up with akron's right after i mean all the arcana damage along with the buff from this pure fiction i mean it pretty much takes care of itself there we go i love seeing all this damage against multiple enemies like that like it's so rewarding to see and i mean everyone here is giving me more and more stacks with akron so that's really really nice all right but we're finally on to the final phase here i don't know if we'll be able to kill kakolia we'll see i mean with himiko here to take care of a lot of the fire weakness we're already halfway to akron's ult again oh i got sealed but if i had to pick a person to get sealed honestly i'm fine with it being black swan there we go so we're going to pop Kafka's ult. Actually, if I knew I was going to get Akron's, I probably would have saved it. But well, there we go. We already broke through Kakolia, so that's not bad. 
Let's focus her. And then we have Himiko to come back in. That's actually really good. Yeah, being able to focus on getting Acheron's ult as much as possible, though, is really important. But I'm able to, as you can see, even with the follow-ups from Kafka, like, it goes together quite well. There we go. How much is this going to do? 320? Okay. Considering my Acheron's build is not that great, I'm actually quite happy with that. We'll see. If I had gone here maybe a, a, a stage sooner. Okay, Black Swan is just getting bullied, though. <laughs> She's really getting bullied. But all right, we got Acheron's ult once more. Like, I can only imagine how much my Acheron is going to do once I actually give her a decent amount of crit rate. We're really close to the ult again. We'll see. It's actually going to be really close. We might be able to kill Kakoli off. One swipe, two swipe, three swipe. Come on. Uh, not. It's not a whole lot of damage, though. 64k that time. Okay. That was higher, at least. All right, so I'm working on making my Acheron's build better because although I have a really good amount of attack and crit damage, that crit rate is absolutely abysmal. I think a good place to start is with the Sphere. Of course, attack percent is better on her than lightning damage, but this one is bad even crit damage wise. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I hope it's better than what I have. Let's see. Come on, give me that good relic luck. Let's see it really it has only crit damage on it i mean i'll keep it but nah 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 we're not taking that we're not taking that let's come on give me something better Our, oh my gosh are you kidding me i really got shafted out of two self-modeling resins like that so far these are the pieces that i have on her a headpiece with only crit damage that isn't even that great to be honest the hands have crit rate on it but it's so small along with the crit damage again not even being like 20 it went all into break effect the body's actually really good though this is one that i got from my doctor ratio the boots are extremely horrible so i need to get rid of these as soon as possible for an attack one and then this fear which is really bad that i just got this rope isn't too bad but it doesn't have crit rate yet again but the 23 percent crit damage on it is actually pretty good so yeah unfortunately my acheron is gonna have to stay like this for quite a while but i am doing a good job of balancing my trailblaze power between the planet ornament event and the cavern of corrosion for acheron so there we have it this pure fiction is actually quite a challenge for people that don't have RGNT or jinglu but thankfully i have acheron and once i improve on her some more i know i'll be able to do 40k on that last stage but for now i'm quite happy with how this did i think both teams handled it as well as they could have and it made it where i was able to get all 12 stars on this pure fiction i can't wait to see what other characters i'll be able to use with jinglu coming back around with her rerun i hope that i get her and then maybe i can use her on the first half but hopefully you guys like the teams that i took and if you use something different let me know i hope y'all enjoyed this thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in the next video